Right. Happy days. Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Wednesday, Friday, happy days. What a day. Let a day. Hello, you crazy people. How you doing? I'm actually like cruising. I've been hiking about. I tell you what, I'm going to keep saying it, but I'm having a great time. Um, this is bloody magic. I slept outside last night. Didn't even put my tent up. Like, the weather was so nice over there. Um, you know, I know a great view. Like I slept by the stream. You know, it didn't cost me a penny. You know, I'm now in a coffee shop. You know, bought a cup of coffee and that and the milk. It cost me five dollars sitting here using the internet. You know, it's a great life. I'll tell you what, right, I'm just going to talk about black and white doctoring. Okay. Um, what is it? It's basically like, um, you know, sticking to the extremes. You know, like, it's like there's things that God says, you know, like, thou shall not kill. Black and white doctrine says that it's a totally, like, a stake in the ground. You can't, you, can't, you can't do that under any circumstances. And that is black and white doctrine. Okay, so, um, what, I, what I think of it is it's taken away all the greys, you know. It's taken away all the, the in-between, you know, parts and um, you know limiting your decisions you know it's actually like a restrict restricting you and I don't think in a good way at all you know because it's just not right you know I, I don't believe I don't believe in black and white doctrine at all you know because I think I think what it, what it does is if it pushes you into these extremes like where you can't do this under any circumstance you can't do that you know, it makes it makes you think. Well, I don't want to live like that. You know, but I still want to be a good person. And I, I think you could, I think that's totally totally good. You know, and um, you know that's the kind of god that I, that I want to be with anyway. You know, because look at like I mean, do you think like God's going to hate sort of these soldiers in World War Two in the trenches? They were killing people. Okay, of course God's not going to hate them and they thought they were fighting for good as well they were following orders they thought they were doing a good thing as well you know so of course God's going to like um, accept them you know and you know if God wouldn't accept them you know then I would I'd have an issue with it myself you know I'd be like what's, what's, what's all that about you know and you know if, if you're pushed into these extremes it's, it's like you know it's like the black adder when the woman comes around, she's got like the crucifix on her head, you know. And you're not even she's not even allowed to mash the vegetables, you know. And you just think the vegetables raw, you know. She doesn't have sex. She doesn't enjoy herself. Everything, you know. Fun is fun is off to the limits, you know. That's black and white doctrine, you know. So, if you're a Luciferian or a Scientologist or something like that. You know, you'll you'll present the Bible to people and say, look, like, look at this, you know, and they'll, and they'll turn you against God. So look what God's written, you know. But I don't believe that God's God's written a lot of that stuff. It's been messed about with, big time. You know, if God's got something to say, then he'll he'll say it. You know, I mean, you know that stuff's been taken out of the Bible, stuff's been put back in. You know, all this stuff. You know, it's just it's just common sense. It's like you, it's like you say you don't steal. You know, you never steal in any circumstances. You know, that's just that's just not right. What if like you were in a you know what if you were in a bar and some like evil dude like left his laptop open and you could see some like really dodgy information on it. You know, and you could nick the nick the laptop and there's a policeman right outside. You know, you nick the laptop. You know, if you've got if you if you got the bollocks to do it, yeah, I think God would reward you for it. You know, you know, do you know what I mean? It's black and white doctrine. I hate it. You know, it's a, it's an attack on on you. You know, and it's it's a, just a lever to get you to go to atheism and then into um, Satanism. 
you know, or Scientology or or whatever, you know, Freemasons. I don't care. You know, and it's um, it's really an insult on your intelligence as well. You know, it's just common sense, really. You know, I mean, I was I was in um, I was in a car with this woman the other day. She was taking giving me a lift somewhere. I was hitching. She said to me, do you want to be baptised? We'll take you down to the river and baptise her. You know, and she said, it says in the Bible, you know, like, you can wash away your sins with baptism. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's, it's, I don't think that's it's right, is it, you know? I mean, that's suggesting that you can go through life murdering and raping and do, doing, like, all the horrible stuff. Get right to the end, whack a load of uh, water on your head, and you'll be all right. No, do you, believe, do you think that? Do you believe that? You know, it's just rubbish. You know, some a lot of the stuff in in the Bible is just not right. I don't believe. You know, it's basically, a, a, you know, it's just a weapon against good people. You know, to be to be on God's side, all you got to be is a good person and help other people. Just be on the good side, be a positive influence in the world, not a negative one. You know. Okay, so that's my black and white doctrine film. I hope all you targeted individuals are right, and uh, this like, hopefully saves some people from Scientology and the Freemasons and all that st weird stuff, you know, because it's secrecy, isn't it? Secrecy is a massive warning sign for, for weirdness going on. You know? Okay, see ya.